Hello. Um, I'm taking a break from the studio today and um, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. I'm going to help show you how to needle felt a cute little Christmas snowman for your Christmas tree. Um, I'm fairly new to needle felting, although I've been a wet felter for about nine years. I've only really needle felted in the last two, so um, I'm not the authority on needle felting but I can share with you some of my experiences about it. So, if you can see, this is a fully formed snowman. He has a nice scarf and a hat, and it's all attached. Now, obviously, it's a decoration. It's not a toy, so, you know, it's not going to hold together if a child is playing with it, but for something for your tree, it's perfect, and there's absolutely no sewing involved, which is really good. So, you're gonna need a few things to do this. Um, you're going to need some needle felting needles. These are not like sewing needles. Here is a needle felting needle. If you can just see there. They're pretty vicious um, and they come in lots of different um, grades but if you go to somewhere like Michael's or Joanne you'll probably just be able to buy them in either coarse or fine which is all you need at the moment and um, for what we're doing today I think you'll be fine with coarse. So I'd recommend getting some needles. You can get little holders like this, which I do like working with, but you can work with the needle just like this. You just have to be really careful with it. It's pretty vicious. It's barbed. I don't know if you can see there, but it has little barbs that run up and down. So when you jab yourself with it, it doubly hurts. The other thing that I'd really recommend you getting is one of these, which is a multi um, needle felting tool and if I pull the guard down you can see there's five needles there. Um, you can lock it which is really good so you won't jab yourself. If it's unlocked you can push in like that and you're not likely to stab yourself with it. I have stabbed myself with this so it is possible if you are a bit of an idiot. Um, your materials that you're going to need today is some core wool. This is um, something you can buy from uh, the supplier off the top of my head is Living Felt which is a great supplier in America. Um, if you can see the core wool is it's a little bit like a, a bat. If you're used to wet felting it's kind of coarse. Um, it's got little bits of fluff in it. It's not, it's not combed and cleaned the way the same way that say merino is but it's perfect if you're making a 3d object for the interior now this guy is pretty squishy some needle felters will get foam like this stuff and cut the shape out and work on that and you can do that that's absolutely fine but um, I like to use this stuff so you're going to need about half an ounce this weighs nothing um, I'm going to just put him on the scales now just to let you know how much he weighs in total. He weighs five eighths of an ounce. Um, but um, you could make him bigger or you could make one that stands. I'm just working on one now that, stand, that stands on his own on a flat piece, which I thought would be quite nice on a mantelpiece or something. So, about half an ounce of um, core, and you're going to split that into two. You're going to have a large piece for the bottom and then a smaller piece for the head. And you're going to work those into a ball. But we'll come to that later. The next thing that you're going to need is some white um, roving. This is um, Corridale from New Zealand. It's very different from a little bit of fluff in there. Um, very different from the wall, the core wall. As you can see, all the fibres are lying in one way. It's been uh, bleached, so it's nice and white, and it's um, perfect for creating a really nice, fluffy, soft um, exterior. You're also going to need some black or brown for the hat and for the facial features. I made the hat on this one with brown just to make it a bit different but you could do it with black. You're going to need a tiny little bit of red and green for the holly 
leaf. You're going to need some orange for his nose. You're going to need a little scrap of either material or a piece of wool to make him a scarf and then a little bit more brown for his little twig arms and that's all you're going to need and the last thing you're going to need is either a piece of ribbon or a piece of string and this is actually going to be needle felted into the hat so this isn't glued in this isn't sewn in this is needle felted in um, I chose string just because it's a, a fibre so I figured that the that the fibres would lock in but I think I, I'm going to try and do this with some ribbon next and I think it will work if it doesn't work we'll go for this one